There's a new use for your horrifying injuries and masks from Halloween, and that's to unlock Apple Face ID. <laughs> I, I was wondering where you were going with that, that joke as soon as I made it. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, as you know, with the iPhone 10 or mm. iPhone X, as it's sometimes edgily called, uh, they're they're utilizing Face ID, mm -hmm. and Apple has concluded or stated rather that it is much more secure than Touch ID or using a regular passcode. So, mm. uh, with this ostensibly, you wouldn't be able to unlock with closed eyes or with a picture or someone who looks similar to you. Um, but one Vietnamese firm called, I think, BCAV, mm -hmm. uh, claims to have beaten Apple Face ID with a, a mask they made for just a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Do we have a like, picture I of it? really want to get into my ex's <laughs> phone. Tôi sẽ thử nghiệm việc mở khóa chiếc iPhone này với một chiếc mặt nạ đặc biệt. Wow, và như vậy. So um, it's uh, it's made out of 2D and 3D parts. That is a proof of concept. I don't know how long it took them to unlock it. That's the big thing too. Uh, and I don't know if you've seen kind of other videos like twins try to unlock it or whatever. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. And there's one um, that was a drag performer that did it out of drag and then once in drag. And eventually the phone did learn that this is also my face. Mm -hmm. So with this example, it's not very scientific in that we don't see how many attempts it was made or if this one belongs to this guy who, the. The concept of the face recognition is that it learns your face mm -hmm. over time. So if you're telling it that this mask is also my face, like it'll, it, I feel like that's going to adapt. Hmm. So if it's a one-time use thing, then yeah, then it could be a little more dangerous for someone's personal phone. But if you're sitting there over and over again, like yeah, it's going to start adapting. Yeah. Well, I. I don't know. I mean, they've claimed before that it wouldn't be able to be cracked in such a way, but hmm. it seems as though they have. I mean, all we have is this video for, you know, proof. And like you said, there are a few holes in the the logic of this. Mm -hmm. um, it, it does raise some concerns as to whether. I mean, we've had major issues in the news before about police forcing people to unlock their phones right. or trying to crack people's phones. I mean, could you crack this if you had long term access to someone's phone? Maybe. Yeah. And that's a little concerning. But what are you hiding, Kim? I, what are you hiding? It doesn't matter what I'm hiding. <laughs> My data privacy is private, and that's what I've decided. Yeah. And you better respect that. <laughs> but yeah, I think if it's a, I think it's more of a security issue of a stolen device rather than like the data that's inside. Mm -hmm. It's more of being able to use the device and have access to it to wipe it and sell it again. Like well, I think that's the main concern for the general consumer. Yeah, I mean. It, it, this is similar to how previous uh, finger touch ID uh, has been cracked before. Mm -hmm. You may remember that in 2013, Chaos Computer Club did a very labor intensive process of taking uh, thousands of photos of a user's finger and making a latex print to fool the system. It was very complicated <laughs> and I don't think many people have replicated it in a real world sense. Yeah. Or at least if they did, they didn't tell anyone and the, the great scandal has taken place and no one <laughs> knows about and we can't solve the mystery. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that those type of experiments and these type of experiments happen though because it forces Apple to and other companies to up their security. Yeah. And it's it's like the hackathons that happen. Like it's just pointing out the flaws in the systems and kind of boosting security. It's like additional QA. Yeah, exactly. Like rough QA. That no one asked for. Intense QA that no one <laughs> asked for, but here you are. Deal with it and make it better <laughs> for the rest of us. Audience, do you think that fingerprint ID or face ID is more secure? Please let us know your thoughts below and please like and subscribe for more.